Hi, my name is Amber. You probably know a little bit about Sir Isaac Newton, like the fact that he was inspired to write his three laws of motion when an apple fell on his head. But you probably don't know much about those laws, except that they include gravity and friction. This little video will tell you a little bit about Sir Isaac Newton's third law of motion. Let's begin. Newton's third law of motion states that whenever an action takes place, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Most of you are probably confused about what that means. Here's an example. When you jump, your legs push down on the ground. The reaction force is the ground pushes you into the air. This is applied in rocket science. The gases that are released from the rocket burning fuel get pushed down onto the earth. The earth's inertia causes the gases to push the rocket upwards into the air. <laughs> Sir Isaac Newton also said that all moving objects also have something called a quantity of force, otherwise known as momentum. Momentum is one of those things that you hear about a lot but don't know exactly what it means. Momentum is a characteristic of a moving object that is related to the mass and velocity of the object. The momentum of a moving object can be determined by multiplying the object's mass and velocity. Because momentum deals with mass, the less mass an object has, the less momentum. The less momentum an object has, the easier it is to stop. The more mass an object has, the more momentum. And the more momentum, the harder it is to stop. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching!